Before we can get here, we have to go back. Way back. Back in the time. Cody starts off the show cutting his promo, pointing at the WrestleMania sign, talking a whole bunch of trash. Cody's been doing a lot of talking over the last few weeks and not too much wrestling. I don't necessarily like that, but I mean, it is what it is, right? So he's pointing at the WrestleMania sign, saying what he has to say. And then all of a sudden, the final ball shows up in Chicago. I mean, out of nowhere. Now, unlike The Rock, he makes his slow way down to the ring, but he doesn't reach for a microphone. That's unlike The Rock. The Rock is a talker, all right? He's a very, very good talker, so he doesn't talk here, necessarily. He puts his hands up to Cody Rhodes. Then The Rock puts his hands behind his back. I'm like, hmm, what in the blue hell is this? He creeps up to Cody Rhodes, and he says something. But he doesn't say it on the mic. He doesn't show any type of aggression. He just says what he says. And then he just kind of dips. So we're sitting here. We're like, hmm, this is a three hour show. But hmm, what the hell is this? What in the blue hell is this? What in the hell did he say to Cody? Will we ever really find out what he said to Cody? Now, to all y'all people out there that read lips, what did The Rock say? Did he say that that's a badass suit? Did he ask him where he could get that three-piece suit from? Did he ask Cody, did he bleach blonde his hair um, recently? Did he ask Cody for hair tips? Did he ask him how his mama was doing? Did he ask him where was the best place in Chicago to get something to eat? Did he ask him if CM Punk was there yet? We'll never really truly know what he said, man. He didn't say what he said. So he said what he said to Cody Rose, then he backs up and then he has this goofy looking look on his face. Hmm, maybe this is a prelude to what's happening later on in the night. Maybe, maybe. Cody's just like, I don't know what to make of what he said. I mean, that's the confused dog look, you know. I'm trying to figure out what was said here. Like this, this right here is damn near half the video. I'm trying to figure out what was said. Did The Rock threaten his wife? Did The Rock threaten his dog again? Did The Rock ask about where his mama at? Like, I have to ask that question a couple times. Then The Rock leaves the ring, and once the, once again, I'm asking, what in the blue hell was that? I mean, really? What was that? I was going to make a video just on this segment, like, The Rock making empty-ass threats. Like, what, what is going on? What the hell was that? I mean, that's what I thought after watching The Rock come up in there, whisper something, and didn't say anything. So that brings us to this part where Cody is fighting off Jimmy Uso. Like out of nowhere, they're backstage fighting. He just throws Solo straight up out the way. No, that's Solo, but Jimmy right up out the way. Then here comes Solo. I jumped the gun. Here comes Solo from up out of nowhere. He's beating the absolute hell out of Solo. And then from out of nowhere, here comes the final boss. This guy's whipping the ass like the, the whipping the ass of Cody Rose, like attitude era style from out of absolutely nowhere. The rock just beats this guy up for about five straight minutes. When y'all watch this segment back, I want y'all to take a drink every single time that the rock says, look at you now. I really want y'all to pay attention to the empty ass trash cans that was backstage. Like they were set up to, to be used on Cody Rose with no trash in them, by the way. I mean, he's kicking his ass outside of his tour bus, by the way. Yo, for a split second, man, I thought that The Rock was going to throw him over the top down to the concrete ground, bro. I I mean, I thought he was going to be done. Y'all see John Cena in the background? Do y'all think that John Cena would approve of this? It's almost like The Rock was dropping a diss track in the middle of beating up Cody Rhodes. Hey, look at you now. Look at you now. He said it like at least 18 times, man. We talk about drinks after drinks after drinks. During this whole little beatdown, man, the crowd in Chicago were like dead silent during this beatdown. Like they had no risk. Like they, like, like it was, it was wild, bro. I mean, I, I wasn't expecting for them to be that quiet watching Cody Rose get his ass whipped. I mean, y'all have to watch this back. Like that was shocking. 
Chicago of all places, like, where it was like 15,000 in the arena tonight. And they were silent watching Cody Rhodes get his ass whipped by The Rock. Now, after The Rock had thrown Cody Rhodes into the bus for like the last time, Cody Rhodes was all stream, stream blading, bro. He was, <laughs> Cody was blading, man. I'm telling y'all right now, he was blading. Then The Rock proceeds to talk trash for about 15 seconds while Cody Rhodes is over there blading. If y'all know what blading is, it's like he's taking like a, a little blade and he's making himself bleed off camera. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah I just ha it's just something that they do. It is what it is. This right here is not PG. This segment was not PG at all. This was old school attitude era beat down segment. And it was a WrestleMania rock. This definitely is all rock, bro. All creative. This got to be rock right here. The rock green lit this whole thing. It has to be him. Because one thing that I've definitely criticized about the WWE is their storylines and who's writing the who is writing the stories and how it comes across on television. And you can tell for a fact that The Rock has something to do with the way that this segment was shot, the execution of it, everything that was said. Cody was definitely in on it because he's off camera right now blading. This was probably one of the best WrestleMania buildups that they had on the show. They they did a lot of really good. This show was a flagship show for WrestleMania season. I mean, I could tell uh, there was multiple segments that were well done during the show. Probably one of the best Raws I've seen all year, stamped and approved, for sure. Everything made sense. I had, like, outside of, like, the first part of this segment where I was asking questions about The Rock and why he didn't say nothing, like, this segment right here proved why he didn't say anything. But let's go on with the rest of it. So they zoom in on Cody Rhodes. Like I said, he was blading off camera. There it is. That's the results of it. <laughs> and then The Rock was like, look, they're Mama Rhodes. He got a Mama Rhodes belt. And he predicted this. He's, he cut in his promo that he was going to do this. So the rock proceeds to smear the blood over the Mama Rhodes belt, man. Holy smokes. Just so y'all can show the see that I'm not I'm not selling no wolf tickets. This is what it was. And then smeared it on the belt. This is not PG. This is Attitude Era TV at the end of the night. I mean, well done. Well done by The Rock and Cody Rhodes in the WWE Creative. I, matter of fact, I can say I, don't, I ain't gonna give Creative that much credit. This is all The Rock, man. This is this is all The Rock, Creative, uh, Creative Juices. This is all him, bro. Because this was Attitude Era level beat down, storyline continuity. He said he was gonna make Cody bleed. He said he was gonna put the blood on a belt and hand the belt to his mama at WrestleMania. Like holy smokes, man! This is this is just this is this is writing and and execution at its best, and I have no complaints about this segment at all, man. None. Now we come full circle. He's talking about Dusty here, talking about hard times and the hard times that he's gonna have at WrestleMania. I want y'all to really think about this, man. Like. This is all, this, all this is right here is just pointing towards, right? Roman Reigns turning on the rock. It just, it just points towards that. He's talking about final boss. So the final boss is bigger than the, the tribal chief. Like, holy smokes. They, he mentioned that on SmackDown this past week and Roman didn't necessarily like that. Now, did he? Let me know what you guys think about this segment. It was well put together, man. Like, this whole entire Raw, I don't think that I had a problem with anything I saw on Raw. Man, it, it was a really good show. It was pay-per-view level, including The Rock at the end, man, with the surprise. We didn't even know he was going to be there. We knew Punk was going to be there. That was like smokescreen. But this was a well-put-together segment, well-put-together breakdown. You guys know how I am. I'm hard on the WWE, but I'm going to give them credit here. Let me know how you guys feel about this. Are y'all anticipating in this tag team match at WrestleMania? I really want to look forward to it now. But there's so many twists and turns with Rollins and Rhodes. And the only person in this match that I'm not expecting to turn is Cody. Rollins could turn, but I don't think that he will. But like this whole thing, like this, 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 this whole storyline with The Rock and Roman, this thing has layers to it now, bro. Because 
Jimmy and Solo were a part of it. Did Roman know that they were going to be at Raw? Did did Heyman know that the bloodline was going to be at Raw? Like, there's so many questions here. Make sure y'all drop a like on this comment. Oh, I'm going to drop a beat down on y'all. Just like The Rock did to Cody Rose. And then I'm going to smear the blood on the, <laughs> on the belt. And hand it to, and hand it to, hand it to somebody's mama. <laughs> It's just classic, man. Classic rock. Classic raw segment. Great build up to WrestleMania. I'm a, I'm anticipating it now. Like I'm I'm into it now. And until next time, peace out, man. Look at the rock's face, man. Oh my goodness. Classic rock, man. Classic rock. When he busted out the belt, the crowd in Chicago was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm calm, man. <laughs>